In this video, I'm going to be discussing a typical word problem that involves logarithms. That's going to be one that deals with sound intensity. And sound intensity, which is the relationship between how many decibels, how loud a sound is, and how intense the sound is, which is actually measured in watts per square meter. And I'm not going to discuss this, all this stuff, okay? You can go to a physics class to do that. All I'm, I'm interested in here is being able to manipulate this mathematical equation for our, for our pre-calculus class. Okay, so step one says to rewrite this in a simpler form. We want to rewrite this equation in a simpler format. And we're going to use properties of exponents, or excuse me, properties of logarithms in order to do this. You see, I see a logarithm, and inside the logarithm is a fraction. That means I could rewrite this, if I wanted to, as two separate logarithms that are being subtracted from each other. So I'm going to start with that. I'm going to say that B here, beta, beta, which is the Greek letter B, okay, looks like a capital B to us, is going to be equal to 10 times the log base 10 of i. Notice I'm going to distribute the 10, by the way. Minus 10 times the log base 10 of 10 to the negative 12. Now, I look at this and I say, all right, I don't know if I can do anything with this first part. But the second part, I know this. You see, I have minus 10 times log base 10 of 10 to a power. And I know that basically that's going to go away and I'm going to be left with a negative 12. Log base 10 of 10 to the negative 12 is just negative 12. I drop the log base 10 of 10. And so now this becomes a little bit simpler because negative 10 times a negative 12 is equal to 120. So I can rewrite this equation as beta is equal to 120 plus 10 log base 10 of i. That's a much simpler equation to work with. Now, if the intensity happens to be measured at 10 to be 10 to the negative fourth watts per square meter, what's the decibel level? So in other words, if I plugged in 10 to the negative fourth for i, what would I get for b? Well, let's take a look. That would be beta is equal to 120 plus 10 log base 10 of 10 to the negative fourth. Well, once again, I end up with a situation where I have log base 10 of 10 to a power. And so that reduces. That becomes a lot simpler. That's 120 plus 10 times. That's just a negative 4. All of this stuff I can basically drop. And so I have 120 minus 40. That would be an 80 decibel sound. 